Fedor Chudinov versus Rhino Liebenberg. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, yeah, if you guys don't know yet, this fight is scheduled for uh, June 4, the 4th of June over in Russia. And apparently it's for the vacant WBA interim super middleweight title. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they're fighting for the interim title, but uh, Fedor Trudinov is actually the gold champion. If you guys don't know, he, he holds a gold title. Uh, David Morel Jr. holds the regular title. And Canelo holds the, the super version of the WBA at 168 pounds. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, the WBA is just ridiculous like that. I don't know why, but that's just how they are. And um, I guess the winner of this fight will be the interim champion next in line, I guess, against uh, David Morrell. Maybe. I'm not sure. WBA is just stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this fight, Fedor Chudinov, those who don't know who he is, 33 years old now. 23 and 2, 16 wins coming by way of Nakara TKO from Russia. So he'll be fighting in front of his uh, fellow countrymen. Um, he's coming for a draw against uh, Isaac Chilemba back in February of this year. And uh, and yeah, um, you know, he's only lost two guys like George Groves, Felix Sturm, and got that draw against Chilemba. So he's been in there against some top names. He defeated Hassan Nandam back in 2019, if you're wondering. And now here he is fighting a uh, former top contender, Rhino Lewenberg. Oh, 37 years old now. Jeez, I didn't know he was that old already. He's 37 years old now, 21 and 7, 1 draw, 14 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. He is actually coming off a win against Rowan Campbell back in uh, March of this year. Um... Yeah, he gave Campbell his first loss. If you guys don't know who Campbell is, he's also from South Africa. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Lindenberg, man, he used to be a top contender, but then he got those losses against Alvarez, Ustuizen, uh, Scotland, Coeling twice, Vincent Fagenboots. And it seems like whenever he travels outside of South Africa, he ends up losing. And here he is, traveling outside of Africa, this time to Russia. It seems like he's never fought in Russia before. This will be his first time fighting in Russia. And um, yeah, when it comes to talking about who will win this fight, I, I got to go with the Russian. I have to go with Chudinov. It, he's fought better, op well, not necessarily better, but he's beaten better opposition. And he did better against better opposition compared to Liebenberg, who... Seems like whenever he steps up and fights a, a decent name, he ends up losing. I mean, I'm sure Lewinberg will go out there and do his best. But in the end, I think Chudinov will be too much for him. Um, you know, it seems like this probably probably will be the last fight of Lewinberg. Uh, at least that's the way it seems like. I mean, 37 years old now. He should have retired with that win in South Africa. But I guess he, he was given the opportunity to fight for the interim title. So I guess he's taking it, taking the shot one more time. But I, I don't think so. I think Chudinov will be too fresh for him. Chudinov will be... He has the momentum going on for him, you know, fighting in front of his hometown fans. Um, well, his fellow countrymen. I know he's coming off the draw, but still, I think he should be able to go out there and and outwork and outpoint Lewinberg this uh, coming June 4. But who knows? I could be wrong. I would say 9 rounds to 3 in favor of Chudinov. Scared for 12 rounds, so 9 rounds to 3. 8 rounds to 4. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who do you guys think will win this fight? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.